Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create the interior render so we know how to create the exterior render I mean the basic thing we know how to export your model to FBX and if you will check my previous the lesson you know how to create the box of the your room or you can export it from the Revit if you want so you already have your box let's say this is your box with this your room and now you need assets so where you can get for example the some furniture carpets uh, or paintings so you can get it for free in 3d sky i will leave the link below uh, most of the uh, people getting the models from there for the 3d smacks so go there and get some model for your future room I already have the some uh, models as you see uh, on the, your screen and we will speak now how we create how we can create our interior so let's put our so let's put our furniture to the our the room and we will come make like some composition of our room and after that we will check about the renders about the skylight and about the other things so let's start it so as you see, I already put, uh, I mean, the, placed my um, models inside my room. Um, so nothing special, just a bedroom with some tom with some tables. That's it. Nothing much. And as you see here, I don't have anything be, uh, behind the camera. So it means uh, the, I no one spend uh, the resource of my PC to render something here because I cannot see that. So this is really important and also important to think about the instance. Instance it's not just a word. Instance it's save your PC. So again, for example, uh, I will choose this uh, this furniture and now I hold the shift, just drag to the other place and now we, um, 3D Max asking class, uh, like what we want to do with this object. Of course, I want to make it instance, not the copy. If you will copy, this is will be, will be the independent object. But I don't want to leave it like independent. I will use it like instance. So it means it this object depending from that one for our render actually. So as you see, it's uh, my texture is a bit tiling, but I know I not will see that properly because uh, I will uh, use the camera view and everything will be all right. Before I will continue, of course, I need the sun. If you are using V-Ray, you will find this V-Ray sun here, or you can find it in here V-Ray. If you are using the Corona, you can use the Corona, Corona Sun here, or you can find it here. I will use this tab and I will place my Sun. Let's do this is more properly. Let's say I want this Sun came, came from the outside and near with my curtain, my, with my curtains like this in 3D it looks like this one, but it's so high Sun I will I will choose like a bit above like sunrise you know let's more do it more like this why not so it should be, be everything fine uh, let's go to the my camera view and let, first I will unhide everything and now I will go to the camera view now we are in the camera view let's say I now unhide everything and I can see my ceiling now uh, let's go to the render and I will start the render so I will start the render and I think now you will see the results so I will back when you will get the picture a bit more clearly As you see, I'm using so high resolution render and I started the final render. So this is bad thing. This is a really bad habit. Don't do that when you're doing, when you're just working and I mean your work in progress. So 
uh, change your resolution, for example, to 640 by something else. So it will save your time and you not will wait when your uh, picture will came like this one, for example. And, but now I can see the my light, it's, uh, I have the, so much the sunlight, so I will reduce it a bit and I will change the, the resolution now. So I will stop my render first. Uh, we will start from the, from the camera. First, as you see, 2500, I will change, for example, to this one. Like this. I will use uh, Shift F and now I can see exactly of the, my, um, the camera, how it looks like. Let's go again back to the settings and I'll change to 640, as you see, it looks like this one. Okay, so now I can start, for example, the uh, interactive render for that one, and it will will fast will work more faster. You will see now. Let's make it a bit smaller. And now I can close the my window. This one. And even I can change my view here because, uh, oh, oh, you can see, um, I didn't do that one, unhide all. Now we will see the my ceiling because before we can cannot see the my ceiling. And now we will work with interactive render. This, this thing I really like because I can see immediately what's going on on my, uh, on my final uh, render. As you see, can see we have totally much the light we can we should reduce it so how we can uh, change for example first the our light from the sun actually uh, we can work in our 3d and still render so because it's called the interactive render so let's go to the our sun let's choose the our sun and I will reduce intensity to zero let's say zero nine and let's see what will what will happen so now as you see now much much better but still it's too much the light you can see it here let's change for example to zero zero six it should be be enough just few seconds and yes, now it's everything clear. Yes, we can uh, experiment, we can do more tests, but I think we can leave it like that. Why not? Uh, so let's change now our now exterior our view. For example, I want to change exterior view. How I can do it? In V-Ray, in Corona, it's everything same, but the just the different name of the uh, settings. Here you can see. On the scene, you will find the use corona environment for the scene environment. And we have some map here and map here. Let's change it. I will go to the material here. And as you can see, this is my standard one. I will delete it. But I not will delete it from the my project. And I will put it here to the material instance. Now I can see this is my instance material, what I'm using here. But for example, I want to use my own one. Why not? I will choose the bitmap. Let's choose bitmap. Oh, sorry, like this. Now I will go to the my library with my materials. Let's go to the my, my library, extension file, renders, and I will use HDRI. And as you see, I have here the few uh, HDRI maps, and I will choose one of them. Let's say this one with the clouds. And let's say OK, and let's say OK again. Now you will get it here, as you see. Now we can replace our this the two environment maps to a new one. And we will make it also the instance. So if I will change something here, it immediately will change here. That means instance. And we'll change the second one. And let's go to the our 3D and you will see now the our outside view it has changed. It's really cool. I just spent like few few minutes and our exterior view it's really cool now. So uh 
if you go to the alpha, you can see this is uh, this mean it's not geometry, it's just a picture. You can uh, replace it after all the renders or you can leave it. So now we will speak more about the light. And we will go again to the our render, render city settings and I will create the setup light, uh, light mix. Now I cannot do anything as you see because uh, my render is still, go uh, still going. I will close the, this window and I will go to the light, uh, setup light mix. I already have one uh, settings so I will generate it again. So what, what I will get you will see now. Let's start interactive render again. And we will go immediately to the light mix map. Now you can see here the all the lights what we have in our uh, in our project. I can switch off one of them. I can switch off another there. And as you can see, when I switch off that, my render not going to start from the zero. My render still continue working. It's really cool. You can immediately say like uh, okay for this render I want switch off the slides or you maybe want switch on the slides you want switch off the corona sun and environment let's the night render or you can say that uh, for example that light you want make like blue or something like uh, cyberpunk let's say like this why not and that one you want change to the, I don't know, the blue one. And you want increase the intensity of that one to 5, for example. Nice, right? I just spent a few seconds to get this result. Why not? Maybe this is like, uh, I don't know, student room. So, the light map, it's, uh, a, re a light mix, I mean, this is really important. Because you can control your post-production render. Uh, even when you when you already put your render on so you can of course uh, reduce everything so i think uh, i said the for example intensity you can reduce all to the one and uh, all the color slide you can uh, change the white back like this and of course you can switch off again everything so now you know how to manipulate with lights. Now you know how to create your environment view. I mean the HDRI maps. Uh, you know the basic thing. I just show 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 to you like how you can use the basic things. It's really important. In the next video we will speak more about the materials because materials is a really really huge topic. And I think uh, to materials I should spend uh, like three or four videos because. They have so much things to introduce you. Anyway, for this video it's already finished. Just go ahead, just uh, go to the 3D sky, load some model, go to the Revit, create your room, uh, load to the 3D Max and work. Without the practice, you not will get any result. But now, thank you guys for watching and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.